Hello, it's Phil here at Digital DJ Tips with something we love here at uh, Digital DJ Tips, which is just a nice, basic two-channel mix. This is something all, all DJs, digital controllers all the way through, scratching DJs to mobile guys. We all like to have a two-channel mixer. Just kind of makes DJ more easy in all kinds of circumstances. So this one, the RMX 22i, is one of two new mixers from Reloop, which are basic two and three channel mixes. There's, a, there's a, a bigger version which is three channels as well, but this is the basic two channel version. And it's a two channel mixer with a little bit of a twist, with two twists really. The first one is it's got a section in the middle for effects, pretty similar to Pioneer's sound color effects. So you get, let's just start something playing on this iPad. I'll tell you more about the iPad in a minute. Have some music there and I can switch on the uh, filter. There's a bit crusher. A gate. Gate's the least effective of them, I think. It doesn't really doesn't really grab the, the amplitude in the beat enough to give you a nice pump like uh, some of the better ones do. And then the white noise, beloved of everyone who's heard those big stage EDM DJs. So I got a bit carried away there. Uh, so there's those four effects and you have uh, a button for uh, all four of them and you can assign them to both channels. Most useful for the, let's stop that a second. Most useful for the filters, but also the white noise is quite good. So that's the first twist. The second twist is to do with this. I've just got a little stand at the back here and popped my iPad on here. And this iPad is running Algorithms DJ software, although this works with pretty much all DJ software, what I'm about to show you. Uh, and the trick is a splitter cable, a mono splitter cable. Now this, this mixer actually comes with one. And on the back of the mixer, there are two inputs on the two main channels that you can switch to iPad left and iPad right. Now when you set mono splitter up on pretty much any DJ software that's got it, and you put the crossfader all the way across to one side, and then you set the cue on, the headphones cue on, on the other side, what you effectively get is two channels out of the mixer and into here. So pressing play on that one is this left-hand channel. And pressing play on this one is this right-hand channel. And I can monitor these now in my headphones, just like normal DJs would do with decks or CDJ and it's effectively given me two decks out of one iPad. Now to be clear there's no digital output from this going on here, there's no sound card in here, there's no USB in here. This is pure audio coming out of the headphone socket, cleverly split into two mono signals into the back of here. It works really well and if you're playing bars, lounges, parties, your own house, frankly you don't need any more than that. So that when you get up to the really big stage sound systems that you're going to start worrying about the fact that that isn't dedicated dual stereo output. I think it's really neat and in the spirit of this kind of mixer, this kind of Swiss Army Knife mixer, it's pretty awesome. I really like that feature. A nice twist on that feature by the way is that if I was to turn off the split queuing here, so this is now a normal uh, a normal output, normal stereo output coming from this DJ software and especially on algorithm software you can turn this around, I'm just going to unplug it from the power for a second, you can turn this around and it will switch to one deck. So now I have a single deck going on here and on the microphone channel of this mixer I can set it to iPad stereo. So now I can set the two main channels to other stuff. For instance on this channel here I've got, uh, I've got a record deck plugged in so I've got some just normal vinyl playing there. On this channel here, I have a uh, CD. You know, you probably have two, you know, two, two record decks or two CDs, for instance. So I could be DJing with normal, normal gear here, but on the third channel, I can have a single deck on here. And there I've got one deck from an iPad on top of a normal DJ setup. Now that could be really useful for mobile wedding DJs and those kind of people who get the odd request for something that they haven't got and they can just quickly hook Spotify in and have a kind of third deck going there in full stereo uh, through the mic channel. The only downside of that on this particular unit is there's no headphones queuing there. So you can kind of, you can kind of approximate that by queuing it up through one of the iPad mono channels, but it's a little bit awkward. Uh, but as I say, with two, two 
channel mixes, a lot of this stuff tends to be compromised and you know having it rather than not having it is great. So apart from that this is a nice mixer for, for scratching, it's got a big inner fader compatible area at the bottom, removable cross fader, nothing in the way of your scratching hands there and it's got all the stuff that scratch DJs are going to want like there's cross fader curve, channel fader curve, there's a cross fader reverse as well, so all present and correct there. Three band EQ, gains, I would have liked to have seen the gain go just a little bit higher just to boost a mono iPad input that little bit more but it's alright, it's workable with. Um, and there is a booth output here as well. Uh, so lots of inputs, there's, oh, there's also an auxiliary output on the front which I really like, just a little eighth inch auxiliary output around the front for plugging your phone in if you've got a, you know, a um, backup source there, something your computer crashes or whatever, you can quickly hit play and get out of jail that way. Um, so yeah, it's a good all-rounder, a nice set of effects apart from the gate which didn't really uh, work for me. Uh, and I like the, the, the versatility of plugging an iPad in either as dual mono or as stereo as a kind of backup source. So that's the RMX22i from Reloop. The full review is over at digitaldjtips.com. If you found this useful, please subscribe to the channel. There's lots more like this every week. And if you find the channel useful, then hey, why not subscribe to Digital DJ Tips? The links are below and it's totally free. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.